today I'm gonna check out an antique store, which I've never been to before. Should be pretty interesting. Hopefully they have some cool furniture and stuff so that, that way uh, someday when we move and we need some cool furniture, hopefully I'll be able to find some cool stuff here. So let's go check it out. So we went to this place called Paradise Valley Antique Store and this is kind of what it looked like. It was just very jumbled everywhere, I guess. It's kind of like a consignment store, so everybody, uh, I guess, pays for their own booth. So each of the tags has the booth number, like, code on it. Um, so that's basically how it works. So I guess it's like you get commission or not, I guess not even commission. I guess the building gets commission on whatever you sell. But anyway, here's a bunch of things <laughs> that I was looking at. There's a lot of cute stuff there. They had, um, you know, some really older stuff, some slightly newer stuff. It's like a telephone box, I believe. Starry Night, which is obviously, you know, not an original. <laughs> this cool Adams Family chair, but it was expensive. I think it was like $165 for this one chair. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of cute little things that they had there, so my friend pointed out that Guns N' Roses thing, but I don't even listen to Guns N' Roses, I only know the hits. <laughs> Here's some Star Wars stuff. They had a lot of cool toys there. So, um, Star Trek, Star Wars was like in this same little glass case here. And, um, these plates are pretty cool. They were like $90 a piece. Um, I'm sure that if a collector came in and found these, they'd all be gone. Um, and I thought this was cool, Star Wars Monopoly, and those were disgusting. I hate scorpions and tarantulas, those are like my worst nightmares, so that freaked me out. So I had to show it to you. And then they had some cool artwork, I love the Wizard of Oz. And, um, they had this Daytona Mickey Mouse jacket, which was actually in really good condition. I think that should have been in a museum but it wasn't. And these pictures I think are really kind of dark and grungy and like they looked really cool. I really like them. And then I just was showing, you know, I mean, you're gonna see a lot of random toys and things that I saw because I love toys and I love 80s stuff. So I uh, just wanted to show you all the variety. There was so much stuff there. It's hard to like show you everything, but they had a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, of course, Cheshire Cat is awesome. Here comes all the 80s toys, so the Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, ugh, really wish I had kept all of my 80s toys, or that my mom had kept all my 80s toys so that I could like resell them today. <laughs> Though I probably wouldn't, I'd probably just keep them and decorate my house with them, but they had a lot of cool stuff here. Of course, you know, I love Nightmare Before Christmas and I love Ghostbusters. This was like a little ceramic pumpkin that somebody made and they decorated it with the proton pack, which I thought was really cute. And then I know spam, kind of gross, but it was like a little money container or whatever, and I thought it was kind of funny. And I used to collect lunch boxes, so you'll see some more lunch boxes here coming up that are pretty freaking cool. And then they had all these old school glasses, like, uh, I can't remember what those are from. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, but all these collector glasses, I think they might have been from Happy Meals or something, I'm not sure. I know we used to get plastic ones that were kind of similar from Happy Meals back in the day. I actually have one of these um, little Welch's Dr. Seuss glasses. They're like little juice cups. I have one of them in storage somewhere with all of my uh, Dr. Seuss collectibles. But anyway, it had a different design on mine. But here are some really cool Star Wars toys and collectibles. The Millennium Falcon there was $700. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really expensive, but I'm sure somebody will buy it. And then I was like, cool, I've never seen Indiana Jones toys before. These are really freaking cool. This place, honestly, if you're like an 80s cartoon collector, like this place was awesome for toys. There was so many, uh, so many like 70s and 80s toys and stuff. If you see the reflection in the glass, that's my friend. <laughs> that's my friend that went there with me. He was actually looking for ashtrays. Well, you'll see some of those later on. But, oh my god, this picture of the Wizard of Oz, I want it so bad, you're gonna see it in a second. And they had Popple's lunch boxes, and that was so cute too. But this Wizard of Oz poster picture, like someone made this, it was um, like $650, I think. It was so expensive. I don't know if you can see the tag right there. Yeah, $649. It's so cool though, it's like a 3D picture. 
And this, the other ones they made are cool too, like the Batman. And then this other one was like, uh, I don't know what that is. Looney Tunes. Yeah, they're really cool. And then, hello, Transformers. These are cool too. Dude, my brother had a whole collection too of like He-Man toys. Um, and Transformers, and G.I. Joes, and I really wish that we had kept everything from our childhood. It would've been really cool to still have that stuff. Even, I mean, yeah, like, keep it, sell it, whatever. One or the other. They're cool to display, like, I like to just display toys, so. Oh, I filmed this section for my friends, Amy and Justin, so here you go. Amy and Justin, if you're watching, I filmed all the Star Trek toys for you guys, or most of them, there was a lot. <laughs> There was so many, so many, so many. And um, I was like, oh, they're gonna love this. And they even had Deep Space Nine and Voyager toys, which I've never seen before. And I was like, this is pretty cool. They have so much stuff here. So if you guys ever come to Vegas, y'all need to check out this antique store. It's got everything. Well, the only thing it didn't really have was furniture, <laughs> which is what I was kind of hoping they'd have there, but oh well. And they had all these cool comic books actually turned out better for me because I love cartoon stuff and I love all this I love all this stuff Star Wars Star Trek comic books toys like this is the stuff I actually like love it way more than furniture so I thought this store was really cool I'll have to go back maybe I'll um, take the kids to go check it out one day so they can just oh my gosh see all the old toys and stuff it was really cool and then you see Princess Leia and some Star Wars toys. I thought this at at machine was so cool. It's so big. And I was like, that's dope. <laughs> and then this, of course, Godzilla. I love Godzilla. That's cool. Uh, one of my nicknames is Godzilla from one of my old friends from eighth grade. And then those plates, my mom actually has those. <laughs> they were selling them for $40. And I was like, hey, my mom has those. <laughs> she could make some money. But they're actually probably worth more than that. But I don't know. Maybe not. And then they had tons of pop pop figures that are so adorable. And hey, who remembers the Silverhawks? Silverhawks are awesome. I thought this was so sweet. I was like, yes, and Shirt Tales too. Cartoons I used to watch when I was a kid. I skipped over Snoopy. I don't know why, because I saw Strawberry Shortcake and I was like, oh my god, Strawberry Shortcake! Yeah, so I love Rainbow Bright. I love Strawberry Shortcake. When I was a kid, I used to listen to the California ra Raisins uh, like music. <laughs> so I thought that was cool too. And then uh, I just, this was all the stuff that was underneath it. And I was like, oh, cool. They got a bunch of cool knickknacks under here. Some, like, fire truck. And then they had James Dean and, and Marilyn Monroe. Oh, they just had random stuff everywhere. So you'll see the style of things going back and forth here. He-Man and Skeletor. And, oh, these are really cool. I never saw these before. I didn't know they had pop figures of these of the craft. So I was like, that is so cool. Do y'all know they're coming out with a new craft movie? I think it looks pretty good. And then I'm hanging out here with William Riker <laughs> and uh, Jordy LaForge. And here comes Data. And I was like, oh look, <laughs> my bros. And then I just saw these old skates and I used to love, oh, sorry, you heard the microphone beeping. I used to love roller skating. So I thought that was cool. And I'm like, oh look, a ship <laughs> right next to it. It's kind of strange. And this Frankenstein type head was pretty cool. I thought that was neat looking. And then they had this old fashioned grater thing, or like, what's it called? I don't know, it's not a grater, but it's like a mixer thing. And then here's the uh, ashtray, ashtray, sorry, I can't talk. Ashtrays, my friend bought some of those for his house. And a Jack Daniels belt. And then we were done and we went to this place called Papaya to get smoothies, hung out, chatted for a while, and then that's it. I went home. So hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!